Kia ora friends and welcome to today's video. I am Lana from Lauren Lullabies and today in this video I am doing my January Roll of Reads TBR. So if you haven't seen the Roll of Reads TBR game before it was created by my friend Mel from a book feed named Mel she has a video of all of the rules. I'll link them down in here. I have made one slight change though. Rolling a one is like a good thing. It's a good roll. So instead of like dropping a book or anything like that, I've decided to do a TBR book pick because one of my goals this year is to really knuckle down on my own TBR. So I wrote the titles of all of the books that I own and put them into this here TBR jar. I didn't count them because that was just way too intimidating, but there are a fair few of them. So before I put anything on here, I am just gonna see how many books or rolls that I'll do for the total. Six. Whew. Okay. Eleven. A standalone. So my first read was to read a standalone. For this prompt I decided to pick one of my want to read in 2022 books and that is A House on the Cerulean Sea by TJ Clune. Everyone already knows this. I cannot wait to finally, finally, finally read this. If you are curious to see what the other books, the other 22 books that I want to read in 2022 are, then I will leave a video link to that in the cards or down below. Go check it out. So this is the first book pick. Number two, 13. Published before 1900. Shit. I don't know if that's focusing, but the second prompt was to read a book published before 1900s. That was a tough one for me. I'm pretty sure I only own one. So I will be reading Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I got this last year because I want to read, I want to read a classic. I'm not really into classics. Maybe it's just because it's all white everything, but I don't know. Maybe that's a bit of my prejudice coming through, but I think that's the main reason that I just haven't been interested in classics and I just can't there's no representation of me don't hate me in the comments for saying that but that's just how I felt so that's why I haven't read any classics I always thought that classics were just very um full of politics and scheming and there was no fantasy no gods no magic and that just was not for me but I have been getting more into contemporary um, so I'm going to give this classic a go and two of my good friends, Stephanie and Evie, absolutely love this. So I'm going to read it. Seven. A recent purchase. Happy days, that one will be easy. The next prompt was to read a recent purchase. Because it has recently been my birthday and I have received and got a lot of books recently, this is a pretty easy pick. Like I had so much to choose from. I wanted something a little thrillery or like suspenseful in this month's TBR because I have really been getting into like horrors and thrillers and suspense last year and I want to keep that going. So. I will be reading We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. This was all over Facebook and especially TikTok last year, this year, in 2021. 
I don't really know a lot about it, just that apparently it's amazing. It's about a group of four friends that I think call themselves the Liars and some secret that they hold that turns destructive and there's everything happens. So I'm very excited to read this one as well. The next prompt was to read a Muslim author. For this one, I chose Mirage by Samaya Dald. I have no idea if I'm saying that correctly. I did try to search it, um, but couldn't find it. There is a Muslim rep in here, but I do know that the author is Muslim herself. I did want to get Muslim rep, but I will settle for this. I've also owned this for a very long time and I do just really need to read it. I know this is a series, I don't actually know a lot about it, so I'll just read the back. In a star system dominated by the brutal Vathic Empire, 16 year old Armani is a dreamer. She dreams of what life is, what life was like before the occupation and of receiving a sign from Dia that one day she too will have adventures and travel beyond her isolated moon. But when adventure comes, it's not what she expects. She is kidnapped and taken in secret to the royal palace. There she discovers she is nearly identical to the cruel half-phallic princess, Vathic princess, Marim. The princess is so hated by her conquered people that she requires a body double to appear in public, ready to die in her place. As Amani is forced into her new role, she can't help but enjoy the palace's beauty and her time with the princess's fiancé Idris, but the glitter of the royal court belies a world of violence and fear and she soon realises that one wrong move could lead to her death. This sounds very interesting. I haven't read the back of this for so long, so I've completely forgotten everything. So this sounds amazing, and it is pretty short too. So I think I will be able to smash through this, and then I'll have to look at getting the second one if I enjoy it. 10. It's liking this row. Another booktuber's TBR game. Okay. The next prompt is to play another booktuber's TBR game. For this one, um, I'm literally filming this in between when James is at work and Zola is sleeping. So I didn't really have time to like work all that out and create whatever I would need to create. So I kind of cheated and just used my TBR jar for the next pick and that was Cradle number two. I haven't read the first one so of course I will be reading Unsold by Will of White. This has been on my TBR a couple of times before I just haven't got around to it. This is like a RPG-esque series. Um, I do, this is the only physical one I own, but I do own the rest on ebook as well, so that's why number two is on here. I'm really looking forward to reading this. I say that every time, but I really do want to read this because I've heard such amazing things by people like Lena, who I just absolutely adore and respect their tastes in books. Thirteen. Last one. Oh, an indie or self-published author. And the last role was to read an indie slash self-published book. This is actually one of the harder ones to pick because I have quite a few that I really want to read. Um, but in the end, I went with one of the indies that I haven't read yet and I've wanted to read for ages and I've also owned it the longest probably. That is Chasing Graves by Ben Gully. I'm so excited for the series. Don't ask me why I haven't read this yet. I also have the whole series on ebook as well but this is the first book in the Chasing Graves trilogy. I believe we have a morally grey character in this one. There's also Egyptian mythology. It's quite dark and... I am just very much all about this. I wouldn't be surprised if I blow through this whole series. Those are the six books that I will be reading for the role of reads. I will be doing punishments for these. Um, when I say punishments, I don't mean like to read a punishment book because if I don't read these, it's because I don't have time to. So adding a, another book to read as a punishment read just sounds kind of foolish 
so I won't be doing that. The punishments that I will be doing are ones that make me like, oh, but I'm not uncomfortable doing it, if that makes sense. The first one that comes to my head is breaking a spine of a book or unhauling a book. So I'm not uncomfortable doing those. They're just things that I prefer not to do. But if I do it, it's like, it's still a punishment and it hurts a little bit, but I'm completely fine to do it. I know a lot of people don't do punishments because it's reading as a hobby for us and they don't want it to be like this anxiety ridden thing. So please know punishments for not completing my roll of reads. It's still fun for me because I like living with a little bit of danger in my life. So, so it kind of just fits in with the chaotic mess that is my brain and my life. So yay. <laughs> Lana. Lana. Lana! What? <laughs> Danger zone. I do have other books that I will be reading for read-alongs, buddy reads, book clubs, that sort of thing. One of which is The Toll by Neil Shusterman. It is the finale to the Ark of the Scythe trilogy. This is the January read for the Last to Read book club. Can't say a lot about it, but the first two books have been super good. I hear that this is just meh, which is really sad because the first two have been so good. If this is meh, then it'll be so sad and like disappointing, but I'm super glad that I finally read it and that we did it as a book club because there's been such a good discussion around Scythe and in a couple of weeks we will be doing the live show for Thunderhead. So, um, and Mel and I will be doing the live of that on my channel which I need to schedule and put up <laughs> Key. but I will before the day because this year I am focusing on being organized the next book that I'm reading is Girl in the Tower by Catherine Arden yep this is the second book in the Winter Night trilogy oh, I'm so excited to read this The Bear and the Nightingale has become one of my favorite books of all time it's just so beautiful and whimsical and just fantastical and just oh it's just everything so this is a read along with evie's discord um come join us if you want to super super fun i also will be reading three books from the babe book club which is romance novels we pick seven authors every single month to try and read one book from all of the authors that are attending Babe in 2023 in Sydney, which is like a romance book event. We've been doing that for a fair few months now and they keep adding authors, which is like, ah, but to make it easier, we pick two or three books each so that we can discuss it on the live shows and then go from there because otherwise reading seven books for one book club plus other read-alongs and book clubs and TBRs is just ridiculous. So... That's why I have punishments for the role of reads because it just motivates me to read more. I'll also be putting up a 2022 goals video very, very shortly. I just need to decide exactly what those goals will be. So stay tuned for that. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you like this video, it would mean the world to me if you liked and subscribe to my channel, click that bell dingy notification. What are you reading in January is what I want to know. What book are you most looking forward to in January? If you don't want to write a comment, then please leave an emoji of like a, something to do with new beginnings. So maybe like a seedling or a star or the sun, I don't know. Go for gold, pick interpret it how you will but that is all for me until the next video kite bye this is what my owned TBR looks like I didn't expect there to be so many <laughs> ah shit